this is for the Weight Loss Loser Week about cheating and uh, specifically to Monday Alejandro Starving Tenor. So um, I'm here to answer <laughs> about cheat days. The concept is really new to me. Actually, uh, uh, Vince of the Visbala channel, the Vince, he told me to think of cheat days as a day when you don't have to really uh, beat yourself up and really, really, really uh, take care to do everything perfectly. And uh, with Weight Watchers, uh, we do count points, and uh, Alejandro completely right. When you go off plan, that's cheating, of course. But what I've learned is that Weight Watchers isn't about being perfect. It's about being good most of the time. That's how you succeed, because it's... Uh, lifestyle and not a uh, boot camp type plan, although I wish I could get myself into boot camp gear and just uh, zoom through it. But, um, so since last week I had a very, I had a, I, um, I had a very good week last week sticking to my points completely. I don't know if it was new motivation just uh, being home after being out of town, but the cheating concept really helped me a lot. I, that one day that I did go off plan a lot, I let that be my cheat day, and the rest of the days, it was so easy for me to be good. Um, I found that this weekend, uh, I usually um, use my 35 allowance points, uh, just like you, at the end of the, at, uh, right after the weigh-in, because if I if I stretch it out and use it towards the end of the week. By Friday, if, if I use my 35 points on Friday, Saturday, which is my weigh-in, I will be extremely bloated and uh, possibly um, much, much weighing much, much more than I would allocating my points differently. So um, my I definitely try to uh, treat myself after the weigh-in uh, and not right right before it. Um, I think uh, everyone everyone is like that. And uh, cheating for me, I don't think anyone mentioned, but lying about the points. If I, um, when we count out the points, I have 21 or 22 a day, um, or I'm on the borderline of those because I'm on the borderline in the 50s and 60s. So um, if I know that I have four points left, but I sort of overate a little and did some bites, licks, and tastes, I might cheat and uh, underestimate. Usually I overestimate by points. I don't have a food scale, an electronic food scale. I think I really need one, but um, I don't usually eat anything that needs to be weighed. I measure things in, in cups and, and uh, cups and spoons and stuff. But um, if it's chicken, for example, and uh, I know the estimate by your palm and the thickness, but I tend to overestimate it just in case so that I don't go over. What ends up for me is being hungry in the, towards the end of the day, and then I, uh, if I have four points left, I'll end up saying that I only ate two plus two instead of four plus two, you know? So that's really bad, and I'm working on that. But uh, cheating, I am a really big cheater. I'm a procrastinator and a cheater and a liar. And um, this is the only thing I can... <laughs> this this is where all my bad stuff comes out. So um, I hope... I hope that this week is going to be good. It's only Tuesday, and uh, last week, uh, yesterday, I had a day it was completely screwed up. I didn't eat anything in the morning. We had nothing to eat. We had no fruits, and um, I that's what gets me off plan is when we don't have the groceries, and uh, my parents are procrastinators in grocery shopping, and I love grocery shopping, but it's kind of far away to to lug all that stuff and I don't drive so I'd gladly do it myself and we have a Whole Foods right across the street but it's really expensive and I don't have the money for it so uh, when I find that we don't have anything I go take a trip over there and have like the most expensive breakfast but yesterday I was having a uh, I was talking to myself and thinking well I love myself very much I I need to be more arrogant when it comes to getting what I want for myself. Of course, in a healthy way, without overstepping boundaries, without hurting people, but I need the best for myself, which includes maybe um, overpaying in, in the produce section 
instead of overpaying for um, for the extra Weight Watcher weeks that I would have to spend if I don't lose the weight. Um, I was also thinking that I need to be a bit more ruthless with with myself. Um, not that not to beat myself down, but because um, I don't really take responsibility. If I I re I'm really easy at letting things go. If I didn't plan one day, I'm not going to dwell on it at all, at all. And um, there's a, I think there needs to be a balance. Uh, if I'm unhappy with what I did one day, I will make, this is how I get back on plan. Can you see, it's, um, it's a piece of paper. It's uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and I list, I just, just write this. And uh, it releases any anxiety I may have, and then I circle important dates, like this is my Vegas trip, March 22nd. And I have a goal till then. I don't know if I'll reach it, but I definitely, I'm starting to take things day by day, and it's really helping me a lot. It's a completely new mindset I got uh, the week before, and um, I'm really inspired by all of you guys. Um, I can't. I can't even catch up making videos for each person, but I will get there. So um, thank you so much for for doing your channel and um, keeping us going. <laughs> I also I also wanted to share the fact that I have a bitch book, and I just uh, called it a bitch book about five seconds ago. I never thought of it that way, but it's a very pretty book, and the reason it's a bitch book is that um, the the bitch that everyone wants to be tends to be very pretty, it tends to have the nicest things, and tends to spoil herself before she thinks of others. Coming uh, When it comes to weight loss and uh, self-image, I definitely think that it's time that I started doing that more. So um, when I can't find my tracker, as now I doodle on these and say how many points I have, or I write it in here. And when I... When I see myself, just the image of me uh, writing in a pretty book, you, I've been saving this book until I deserved it. And I just started using it uh, about a month ago for specific for weight loss. And it's definitely helping me. I feel that I have a pretty book and uh, it belongs to, uh, you know, somewhat pretty girl. You know, I just talk to myself and tell myself that I'm the best thing that ever happened to this world and I think all of you should say the same honestly <laughs> so I was thinking yesterday that that's really bad of me that I that I want to think of myself before I think of others and um, in the most appropriate way you know I'm not gonna hurt people but um, Weight Watchers does teach you to say no when things are inconvenient for you, if you can't do them. And uh, it really helps me keep a peace of mind. And I had a very peaceful weekend and a very peaceful day today, even though I had so many things to do. It was unbelievable. Um, but I, uh, I think I'm going a lot off topic. But now because I know how to control those points I just have to do it you know I've been on the program for two years I just have to I just have to just do it that's that's what I'm doing and I'm doing it so for the past uh, week I've that past week and a half actually it's my second week so I've, I'm doing good and I'm not just uh, making excuses I'm not convincing myself so now I'm focusing on really if if someone is bothering me, tell them that, that they're bothering me. Uh, if someone isn't doing what they're supposed to be contributing to a project, to school, to something, I definitely have been starting to speak out. And not only have I gotten respect for speaking my mind, I also feel peaceful and I feel that I can change what I'm unhappy with. If I can change my, my outlook on things that don't concern weight, that but things like how, how I treat myself, whether I write in a pretty book or whether I write on a crappy old book, you know, it's it's all about what gets you motivated. So if I feel if I feel good, then I'm definitely going to succeed at this. So I went on a huge tangent. I'm sorry. I think I, there's a glare from my glasses, and I know I, I'm annoying everybody. So bye and thank you, really thank you guys for for being there for us.